the next step is to put it on the leather and cut it out so here's my piece of vegetable leather that I'm, I'll be using so I'll put I typically will mark the sides of my pattern one and two for this one it doesn't for this particular pattern it doesn't matter because it's the same but it's a good habit to practice so you don't have two of the same size so I'm simply gonna place it here on the leather and trace it out then I flip the other side and it doesn't matter which direction you place it usually we want to save as much leather as possible switch the other side and draw it across again trace the, the second piece Now I have my two pieces cut out and traced out and I'm ready to cut it out. I hope you can see this because I'm gonna go closely on my edge and cut. I like to use my hands to cut just because I'm trying to develop my fine motor. I don't wanna be able to cut something just because I can't. I'm making just one, so I'm not making it for mass production. I can take my time. So I'm gonna just cut right around there. So I'm gonna continue and I'm gonna cut around the edge on the other one and then I will get back together. So I finished cutting my clock pieces and here are the two pieces I have. Now I'm gonna cut the strip that I put in the edge, a um, little band um, for comfort. I already measured my distance so I'm going to cut two stri strips of two and a half inches long. To do that, you, me you, you measure two and a half inches on several points and you draw a straight line and then you can either use a rotary cutter, which will cut, cut really straight, or you can use a pair of scissors and cut the two strips. So I'm going to go ahead and cut my strips. Again, I like to use scissors because, especially when the edge is not going to show, just because I am learning how to use my fine motor. Here's my first strip, and I'm going to cut my second strip. Now I got my two strips. I'm going to show you how I attach my strips to my main piece. First, I use glue to hold it together and then I take it to my sewing machine and, and sew it. So I'm gonna draw a line of about three millimeters. Um, now you can use a tape to measure this or you can just guesstimate. So measure three millimeters. I, I like using um, just like a estimation as long as you have a nice strip here um, or you can just measure so you have exactly three millimeters um, anywhere from three to five millimeters will be fine but roughly three millimeters is a good um, hem allowance for leather now this leather is rather thick I'll see what happens when I take it to my machine and then for the leather, I'm gonna do the same thing. Get a, a strip here, cause that's where I'm gonna apply my glue. Um, so I'm gonna put a strip there of about three millimeter as well. Um, you can, again, you can do it by guesstimating or you can measure this out. The leather I use, the, the glue I use is water-based glue. Um, it's Rhenia Aquilum. Uh, um, and I've been using uh, this since I started and it works pretty well. So I'm going to apply some glue on the edge and this is just so you it binds together before you take it to your machine. Just like a temporary hole. So I'm going to apply some glue. You don't want it too thick layer, but just sort of roughly like on the edge there. Then 
then on my um, strip as well, I'm going to apply. I don't need the whole strip, um, so I'll have to cut out the ends once I put it, um, I glue it on. So I'm going to apply some right on the edge here. And this will be the back side because I can't glue or I can't just glue, fold it and glue because uh, and, and sew it because it will not sew through my machine. Um, my machine is a leather sewing machine, which I'll show you shortly, but it's not um, meant for mainly for shoes. All right, so I have a piece right there. Try to get every glue that spills on so it doesn't stick to your to your leather or your fabric leather is easier to get out but sometimes fabric can be difficult now you can you just let it dry for a few minutes while i apply the other one now i have my glue pieces and i'm gonna attach them together before i take them to my sewing machine so i'm gonna put the edges together just so when i sew them they don't move and it maintains the right shape I want it to have. So there we go. I'm going to put that one. I have a lot of extra pieces here. So I'm going to trim this edge here. And I'm going to trim this other edge. Then I'm going to attach the other piece. Here's the other piece of leather. I'm going to attach it to the strip. So the glue, the way it works is you have to attach to both sides and let it dry. Once it dries and it looks all clear and you don't see any white areas, you can attach it together and then it glues together perfectly. If, if it's wet or if you don't have enough glue, it will not attach. So there we go. And I am going to cut. I just have to make sure I give it enough room so there's enough when I fold over. Now I have these two pieces that are glued, as you can see, and then this is the back side, and I'm going to take it to my sewing machine, and I'm going to sew across the top here, and I'm going to sew this one across. I can't sew it all together because um, it's too thick, and it's not going to sew through my machine. So I'm now at my sewing machine, and I use for sewing leather. Um, heavy duty um, HD9 heavy duty professional sewing machine and so it can it's been pretty good it can sew smoothly through very thick leather so I'm gonna try and see if it gets through vegetal I have never tried to sew vegetal on this so let's do it <laughs> Okay, it seems to be so pretty smoothly. If you want to make shoes, you have to get a good sewing machine because I had before um, a regular sewing machine, which was pretty good, but it couldn't sew through leather. And the one thing with leather is very unforgiving. Once you sew through it, you can't take it up and re-sew it like you do fabric because it makes holes. So you have to get it accurate. So you need a good machine. So I'm gonna sew through this piece of leather, which is sewing pretty smoothly, so I'm pretty happy about that.
but now these are the finished pieces you can see where i sewed it across here and across here so now i'm gonna go ahead and attach my other fold over my other piece but i would like to use a piping so it gives it a nice finished edge so i'm gonna go ahead and measure the, the three millimeter edge on the other side of the strip so i'm gonna draw a three millimeter edge right there i'm guesstimating but you can just measure a three millimeter edge um, which i'm gonna go across measure i'm guessing it i'm not measuring because i'm just i guess i'm too lazy i feel like it's easier and it doesn't make a difference for me and then here you want to give it you want to make sure you're not sewing on top of the other strip because you don't want your piece to be too thick so i go ahead and draw a line about here which is about one centimeter away from the last edge i um so about one centimeter away see where i'm Hope you can see this here where i'm drawing this line right here um where i will attach the other piece so i'm going to go ahead and draw a one centimeter right across so i got a roughly one centimeter piece across where I'm, that's the edge that guides me where I'm gonna attach this top piece. On this side, I have my three millimeters. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, apply glue just on the middle part of this. And I'm gonna apply the, I'm gonna apply glue on this side and I'm gonna apply glue on my piping. And I'll show you how I do that, so. Here's the glue. Again, this is water-based glue. It's non-toxic, so it's pretty good. It barely has any smell to it. So I'm just gonna apply some glue on this edge here. Now I'm just going to wipe off some of the extra glue that I have on this side. And then I'm going to apply some glue on the other side of my fabric. Of my, not fabric, my, my leather. I am so always, so I always say fabric. And then when I'm sewing, I always say yarn. So that's what I did. This one, it doesn't matter how much glue you put here because it's gonna be covered up. Okay. And then I'm going to apply some glue to both sides of my piping. I'm just going to measure the length of my strip here. And just get about that amount of piping there. And I'm going to apply some glue to both sides of the piping. Now you can always make your own piping. You do not have to buy this because I think they just have a little strip of you can use even um, neck, necklace strings and then just fold it over a piece of leather and there you go. Um, they're pretty inexpensive. I think, I mean, I, I don't remember, but I, I remember thinking they were pretty inexpensive when I bought them. But if I needed the color to match, I would just pretty much just make it from the same leather that you're using. 
And I'm going to flip the other side and I'm going to apply a little bit more glue here. Just to kind of help it stick before I take it to the machine and sew it down. So I have some glue on both sides of the piping. So I'm going to go ahead and it don't have to dry because I'm going to sew it anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and place it down against the edge of this piece here. I'm going to wipe any extra glue and then I have a glue eraser that I can remove it from leather. It's harder to do with suede, so suede you have to be more careful. Um, but there we go. So I attached the... I have more on this side, so I'm going to shorten this. I'm going to do that again. I like the piping because it gives it a cleaner finish, otherwise your edge will just be a throw. You can do it with or without the piping. It's just an extra, or you can put other things in there if you want, or you can do it border or no border. Um, so. I'm going to get some of this glue off my hands. Pretty sticky, but it comes off pretty easily and it's really um, easy to deal with. And then I'm going to place this edge down here where I have this. So I'm going to just try to straighten this out so it, the best I can here. Uh, so I got it down here. I'm going to wipe the extra one that's over on the front. But again, if that does, if that's dry, I could just remove it with glue with leather with um glue eraser, leather glue eraser. So I got all this piece out, and I'm gonna take it over to the machine, and I'm gonna sew towards the end, about one millimeter away from the edge, all the way across. Then I'm gonna repeat the same process on the other side and then I'll see you back. So here I have the clogs in a bowl of, a pot of hot water. Um, so the water is pretty warm, not boiling, but just pretty hot. So, it, so the leather gets really soft. And I'm gonna leave it in this water while I do my, Soles, why I prepare the soles. 